Hi, so I just quickly wanted to share with you how the TPT digital activity tool can work. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to a TPT resource that you have access to, that you've purchased in the past or that was a freebie, and you're gonna just double check and see that the file type is a PDF, because that's what this tool is for. Then if that person has joined the TPT beta, then over here on the right, you'll see TPT digital activity, and yours will say create, mine says use, just because that's my activity. And it'll load up the pages for you. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to edit pages because most of my resources include an answer key and we really don't want them all, um, right? We don't want the students to have the access to the answer keys. So I am going to edit this backwards. I want the things, uh, select all, unselect all. There we go, jeez. Sorry, my brain is having a hard time with this. So I'm gonna check the ones that I don't want the students to see right now. And I'm just gonna say remove. So now we can see, okay, they have all the readings and one of the worksheets. We're gonna go ahead and add, <sighs> save changes, there we go. Okay, so you can see over on the left, now it says total pages eight. So there's all the readings, <sighs> scroll too far. So readings, pages, and then down here is the one that they will work with. So in here, what you could do, right, you could just be done at this point, or if you wanted to, you could add an answer box for your kids to know that they, hey, this is where you're gonna type. And up here, you can make that size a little smaller. You could leave it big, up to you. So you can, if you want to, go in and add answer boxes for them, but the kids can also add their own text boxes. So you don't have to go do this but if you wanted to, you could, okay? You could also add text. So if you wanted to type and just say like, add text on the page to type your answers. If you wanted to do that to give them a little bit more information, you could, um, but again, you don't have to. If you started doing this add answer box thing, I would probably finish because I think my kids would be confused if I started and then like, you know, three of them didn't have an answer box or something like that. So one more box. Okay, so now they can type in any of those. And then same thing down here, there's all those questions. They can type here or you could put in the answer box for them, okay? So let's go back to the select tool so I don't accidentally click anything. Okay, that page is good. We have all the pages here. Let's check and see if it looks like what we want it to look like. Add text on the page. Perfect. So this is what a student would see, right? Add text on the page, type your answers. They click here, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yay, beautiful answer. Okay, so we might want to delete that. But that's what the preview looks like. And you can go back and switch through any of the pages to see what the students will see. And then when you click assign, what it'll do is it'll give you a link. So it says create an access link to share to your students through Google Classroom. This tool only works with Google Classroom right now. Students will then log in through their Google account to access the activity. And then this works like pretty much any app that syncs to Google Classroom. It creates a copy for each student. Um, you do this ahead of time in that first step I showed you. You only want to give them some of the pages, especially if the file contains an answer key because otherwise you're just gonna assign them something that has the answer key intact. Um, you can, again, do this, right? Any answer boxes where appropriate. Personally, if you're doing this with um, a worksheet, I feel like most of my high school students could figure out to like click and type on that, but the answer box just makes it a little bit easier. So that is up to you. And they do have some more information here linked for you if you wanted that. But hopefully that gives you a clear idea of how this tool works and makes it really simple for you to try it out.